Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppSpinner.com. Today I'm testing iThos HT. It's it's a pretty special application, especially because the it was one of the first apps that we tested on iPadAppFinders.com. That's our subdomain for reviewing iPad applications only. And iThos HT was one of the apps that stood out even early on when we got it started. And we started that app, that site, roughly around the same time the first generation iPad came out. So this app is designed for brainstorming. It's it's for mind mapping. It's for task management. Anything you can think of, you can do with this application. It has a lot of tools available. For starters, you can for starters you can, for instance, interact with all these diagrams and charts and everything. You can expand them, collapse them, you can change link styles, odd number topics, redo, undo, search, all that. I'm going to show you how. That's how you add a new map. You can change link styles here. Let's use a different one. I'm going to change the map layout. So this is how the map layout changes. changing the as you can see and this changes here maybe you can see it better like that I can change the color link style right angle bend curve you can choose what to show here Map layout, actually vertical is better. S canvas, you can choose white grid. That's my favorite, but you can also use different ones. As far as icons, uh, before we, I get to icons, the highlight of this, and the, this is what, why I like it is, you can import and export so that even if you have apps that are not Let's say you have FreeMind, you have iMindMap, you have XMind, you have ConceptDraw, you have uh, MindMap6, you have MindGenius, or you just want to export in OP OPML. This application has it covered. You can export to PDF and PNG. Uh, so that's neat. You can use it for task management and have a start due dates and all that. So as far as the features goes, you have you can, as you can see, it has a lot of tools. You have icons, colors, shapes, text, tasks. This is how ta task process the start date. And information gets added, effort. gets added there. So all these options are available. You can also do hand drawing, fingerprint, finger drawing if you like. Over 90 icons are available, 46 images and 30 background patterns to, for you to choose from. The app is fully interactive. You can do all kinds of cool neat, neat things with it. You can Make it bigger, make collapse like that, or expand if you like. You can drag and drop it wherever you like. Also, the early access that I don't have, this is the one that we won't be testing here gives you search option, password protection. It's probably worth it if you're using it for business. You have Wi-Fi transfer. It's cloud friendly. 
You can send it to your camera roll if you like. Just gonna give it access. You can share it. You can send by email and choose different standard formats, whatever works for you. I, I do encourage you to go through the help section. It's not an, one of those simple apps that you can get master in like two minutes, but it is designed for professionals, for people who want to actually have sophisticated mind maps. So that's, that's the strength of this application. The last time it was updated was around, it was November 21st. I, that's according to the app store. By the time this review goes live, they may have another update. I'm not sure. It's a pretty awesome app by the guys at CMS and Craig Scott. And um, if you like brainstorming, if you want something to draw diagrams, mind maps, all that, I thought the HCI has you covered. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have better suggestions for, for mind mapping applications, please suggest them in the comment section. Also, we've been doing close to 100 videos now in the past couple of months. I hope you take time to go through them. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. You can also go to appfinders.com to keep up with them. iPhoneAppsFinder.com. That's our sister site that covers different apps, iPhone apps. And uh, they're not identical. They're, we don't follow the same schedule as they do as far as the reviews go. So the apps are separate, the ones that we review here on YouTube and the apps that those guys review. Thanks again for watching and please stay tuned for more videos tomorrow and days after. Thank you very much, guys.